Hello, Dr. Murphy. It's Peggy, the nurse with the hospice. I'm with Herbie at the moment. I just arrived. He's very, very rattly at the moment. And I rang Mary Fierig and she said to give him 10 of Medazolam. By morning, Herbie's breathing becomes increasingly noisy. This is a very common condition. It doesn't trouble Herbie and is easily helped by medication. I don't think he has pain. It's no, no, it's not pain. No. It's only this rattling yeah. and uh, this shaking. Shaking, yeah. It just came. Just started yeah. today, this yeah. morning. No, just, just before when, I came in. Before you came yeah. in. He was shaking like this. Yeah. yeah. And is this normal? What happens, it does, yeah. It does happen. Is it for buy? Hmm? Yeah. Oh, gleich is for buy. Hmm? Happy? Hmm? I've been by dear. Yeah? Hmm? Gleich is it for buy. Hmm? Hmm? Gleich is it for buy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Natalie. Very tough that. Yeah. Now you're in peace. Now you're in peace. Yeah. Now you're in peace. Mm. Mary, Herpes just died. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The cause of death is this inoperable huge cancer that he had, retroperitoneal liposarcoma. His heart gave away, then his lungs failed, and his liver failed, and his kidneys failed. General failure overall, due to the effect of the cancer over the last one and a half years. It's extraordinary that he has lived so long. Afterwards, uh, when, when they laid him down, and uh, he, he was so peaceful looking, he was really nice looking, and uh, I couldn't cry, I couldn't cry. It was just uh, a nice, uh, uh, for me it was a relief, Turby is now in peace, and everything is over. For him, not for me, but for him. I was happy for him. We find it hard to contemplate our own deaths, to imagine that one day we will no longer live in this world. But there is a way in which our bodies continue after we die. The cells in our bodies are made up of atoms which have existed since the start of the universe. They are constantly being exchanged and recycled. So what today are our bodies were once parts of plants, animals, trees, indeed other humans. And in the future, well, this journey that each of us takes from birth to death is just one tiny step in a much bigger journey.
part of an endless repeating cycle from life to death. For oh, the summer time is coming And the leaves are sweetly blooming And the wild mountain thyme Grows around the bloom and heather Will you go, lassie, go And we'll all go together to pluck wild mountain time all around the blue heather. Will you go, Lassie? Go? Dear friends, it was Herbie's wish to read his epilogue before I sp we spread the ashes around the roses. In 1981, my wife Hannelore and I decided to go to live in peace and harmony in Ireland. I, I can, can look back on many, many fulfilling, fulfilling years, years together, together with, with her. her. And I thank her deeply for sharing her life with me. My wish is that all my friends and neighbors live together in peace without jealousy and animosity. May you all hold me in good memory. Will you go, lassie, go sing it like Herbie would have. And we'll all go together to plug wild mountain time all around the bloom and heather. Will you go, lassie, go? Will you go, lassie?